Hey everyone, Alpha Compton here. Uh, I'm not in my, I'm not in a great position right now. Um, so this is not going to be like a more thorough unboxing. It's just, it's late at night. I'm just going to do a quick thing. Uh, so I had a Steam Deck. Uh, that I got last summer and I really like it but there's a couple of things that I just I wanted more out of it and I like, wanted to see how far I could push this I haven't had a mobile PC in a long time like that like in that form factor and I did not like how Valve did rumble on the Steam Deck so and of course, there's different things about the whole Linux to Windows stuff. So, I wanted to make a video. And I wanted to own the iNeo 2 when I saw it. That looked like the way to go. So, anyway, I just got it from DHL. I just came back from a trip. A lot of stuff happened and my um, environment its not great. But... I got the package that includes the case, the thumb stick covers, and um, something else. So anyway, let's open it up and take a look. I think this is the top. Yeah, I'm not a huge, I haven't had like much need of like a lot of battery life. Uh, so, I'm, just, I'm more of a performance person, I'm more of like the dock player. I sold my Switch by the way when I bought my uh, Steam Deck before getting it actually. Uh, so. And it says I am the one. So that's cool. I did get a dock for my Steam Deck that I did not include with the sale of my Steam Deck uh, because I intend to use it with this I Neo uh, too. I guess this is a hand strap. Cool, cool, cool. So hold some stuff there. Nice. Very right, cool. Smells interesting. Ah, right. A screen protector. Oh, it's not even like just a generic one. It actually says I and Neo on it. Uh, I mean, not that it wouldn't be in a, a generic screen protector, but um, it's just it. It's nice that uh, maybe perhaps unnecessary that it comes with all that. Uh, I and Neo branded. These are the thumb stick caps that I really didn't care for, but it was just part of the package and you're saving money. So, you know, why not? You got some interesting designs there. So, yeah, we'll see how that is. So anyway, we have the main package here. I'm just gonna put this stuff here in the view. There. All right, before I open it up, I'm going to do just like my favorite uh, YouTubers. We're just going to take a look at what the box says. So we have a clean picture of the INEA 2. Uh, not much else going on other than their logo. Uh, on the other sides, the back, of course, uh, tablet computer, INEA 2, tablet computer, charging cable, power charger. USB-C to adapter and user manual. And then of course we have the location of where this came from uh, or, or manufactured. I'm just gonna skip to the very last part, China. <laughs> uh, it The package said it came from Hong Kong. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. So anyway, uh, it's, it has the chip. 
Ryzen 7 6800U. That's what everyone wants now. Of course, because I was able to get it so fast, you can probably guess I got the 32 gigabyte, two terabyte model. Uh, that's the most expensive one. Um, that's a lot. It was like something like 1300 or more. Um, I just, you know, I just plan to do more than just gaming uh, with the INEO. So that's why I got such a big, um, you know, SSD. And of course, Windows 11 Home. So, all right, let's open it up and take a look. I'm the type of user that's, like I was saying earlier, that is definitely um, docked. The docked user. It's more of my thing. Same thing with the Switch. I don't really only own the Switch to play some of the exclusives. I didn't actually really have need of a portable system. I did like supporting Nintendo for a long time. Um, I thought they came out with cool concepts. I liked how some of their hardware looks and works. But... Um, the prices of the games and the infrequency of uh, game releases and sales. Just, you know, I just wasn't interested. I just, more than that, I just grew to dislike Nintendo. Um, more so. So, anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm not even into emulation. I'm just playing a lot of Steam games and... Uh, I started getting into GOG a little bit. Uh, this is, looks cool. I don't know if this serves a purpose. But, yeah. Interesting. This is looks like the manual. Uh, luckily, it includes English as well as their native language. Okay, uh, I'll call it a quick start guide, but just information, documentation about the different um, buttons and stuff on there. But there's more useful stuff, uh, waking up and the uh, fingerprint scanner, which is super cool to get that Windows Hello functionality, quick sign in. And here we have the actual instruction manual. So this one is... Oh, we got some full color pictures too, which is nice. Uh, I'm not seeing a language that I know how to read on this side. Over here. Uh, yes, we do. Sweet. All right. English. All right. Um, all right. I won't be taking a look at that just yet. Later, outside of the video. All right, looks like we have, uh, so I saw this in a lot of other videos. Um, it was a point of contention for one of the YouTubers. They, uh, in order to get inside, you have to remove like a side piece of the unit and uh, it can get damaged um, while removing it. It's just a cosmetic damage, but uh, they started including, um, some plastics and like a little uh, something that looks like a guitar pick uh, in order to remove it without damaging it too much. So we'll see. I got I got the two terabyte model, so as you could probably guess, I'm not really planning to go in there. Uh, I'm just going to use it as is and have fun with it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> it's 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 dense, you know. Like there's a lot. There's a lot in here. Huh? Yeah. You know, it feels all right. I was like, was it um the fox? Can't remember, but. And one of them was a little unsure of like, he said it was still comfortable to hold, but he didn't like, he didn't think it was perfect. 
Um, it's good. It's good. I'll I'll say it's good. Yeah, like this coming out here, I I feel and like you know as you can imagine, I have all fairly big hands. I can't pummel basketball, but I'm close. You know, so I just I just grip onto those like uh, meteor parts at the bottom, and it feels great. Of course, I would have to game on it for a while before I can make a final judgment. But just holding it here, yeah, I feel I feel confident. Uh, I'll be just fine with this. Okay, so I'm just going to put that here. Right here. Wow, they, they packed this pretty premium. Pretty premium. Uh, it actually is labeled, uh, which is what? Uh, USB-C to USB adapter, power seat converter, power charger, handheld, uh, pitch, a pouch. The O is weird. That's, it's not that I can't read pouch. Wait, is it pouch? No, it's not pouch. Yeah, because it, it doesn't come with a pouch. Okay, um, we will check that out. Charging cable, um... Power converter B, power converter A. All right, some pretty uh, generic marking there. Yeah, so I don't really need any of this. Um, personally, I mean, uh, I just I have all the adapters and everything. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using uh, some of this USB-C stuff that I've been using for a while, and of course I'll be using the dock as I mentioned from the. Uh, Steam Deck. It's a JSOC stock, unfortunately, maybe. Uh, this looks like just a plain USB-C cable. Um, I'm not going to open it. I mean, it, it's just a cable. Uh, and, of course, you have... Um, the other things that they mentioned here looks like they are international uh, charging adapters and stuff. And I do not need that. So that is what you replace the side with um, if you do go inside your Ionia 2. Of course, here we have the charging brick. Um, looks nice, it looks small enough, and it does say 65 watts max, which is awesome. I have a 65 watt charger as well that I'm planning to charge it with and use it with. Maybe 62. Either way, uh, I don't believe it actually pulls that much at max. I think it's 45 it actually pulls max um, while working. And then, of course, you have overhead. So we should be fine with that. But very cool. Very nice. Good. Decent size, I would say. Uh, we have... Oh, this is nice. Ooh, and it is a metal. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, you know, the USB-C to USB-A converters. Oh, uh, wait, is this one as well? Did they give you two? Wow, they gave you two. Very cool. They really want you to use this like a regular computer. It is a Windows regular computer. But, you know. And just leave it. At the, these are pretty cheap. Under 10 bucks. You probably can get two for 10 or something. But it is a very nice inclusion. And um, it's just it's just something you want to have. In case you just need to plug in that one peripheral that isn't wireless or doesn't come in USB-C. It's just great. Um, if you just want to plug in something a little less common. Like a printer. You know? Or maybe a racing wheel. You're playing, you know. So anyway, uh, I hope that's enough of a look inside there. I... Did something? Yeah, that, that, that's it. All right, so that is a quick unboxing uh, for the Ionia 2.
Let's turn it on. Mm -hmm. Can you hear the fan working? It's not loud. <laughs> it's there, but it's it's not loud. I don't know if that's the loudest setting. We're going to have to find out. That glass surface feels very smooth to the touch. Apologies if I look like I'm sweating. I currently am. Uh, I went from, you know, I'm in New York. I went from having no heat briefly for today to very, very strong heat. Um, so anyway, let's get that peel. Yeah, I came back from my trip recently. Um, yeah, it's weird. You'll, if you ever buy anything from me, you'll know that you'll see every piece of plastic or so, almost every piece of plastic that is available. Um, I keep my uh, electronics in like perfect condition. No. Yeah, I mean you could see it. Uh, well, of course I can't tell how much you could see uh, on the YouTube video, but it is sharp, very sharp. Uh, just as all the reviewers say, the color looks great. Um, I'm just going to put in my Wi-Fi. The holder, I'm recording with my phone, and the holder may be blocking the mics a little bit. So you probably won't hear the full, like, volume of stuff. Uh, uh, which I apologize for. Like I said, I'm not in... I'm just... It's just a uh, quick thing for now. I plan to do a follow-up video. Uh, we're approaching the end. I plan to do a follow-up video, just like with the uh, Intel video, which I haven't done yet, the uh, Serpent Canyon. I uh, haven't gotten as much feedback uh, as I thought I might, because that is a rare, you know, uh, setup. Uh, that mini PC, as well as an Intel Arc uh, graphics card. It's the Intel Arc uh, 770M. I need to make a follow-up video on that. So here I will be doing a follow-up video if people uh, request to see stuff and I will you know put on whatever games I have uh, that you want to see a lot of the videos out there uh, showed tons of games so you know uh, just adding my personal account. Oh, that was super fast. How fast? It set up um my fingerprint. I can't believe it.
thought it was pretty fast. Pretty quick, pretty smooth. Um, I do this every so often, either if I'm reinstalling Windows um, or getting a new computer. I got that Intel, and I got um, another PC that had an issue, and I have to reinstall. Did I just decline free space? Eh, whatever. All right, so while it's doing that, we're going to go over a little bit. As you can see, it has some pretty cool lights. It has RGB lights under the thumbsticks. Uh, thumbsticks are hall sensors, which means they have little to zero uh, dead zone. Uh, so they're super accurate. Um, they feel nice. Uh, I believe these are also hall sensors as well, the triggers. It has proper rumble. But it's not just that. They went a step further. They added um haptics similar to what is well they say it's the same vibration uh one that's in the uh, switch joy cons so that means you'll have a granular effect or you know more nuanced it'll be able to rumble and give you a little bit of like weight distribution trying to poorly describe it for people who have not tried HD Rumble, which is a terrible name, by the way. It's definitely more than just HD Rumble. Haptics are really cool stuff. It's not as advanced as what's in the dual sense, but it's approaching that. Okay, so it looks like this is IS Space. Right. Okay, well, there's not going to be any games for you to scan. It's a brand new device. Enjoy your game life. Yes, thank you. I will. All right. And, of course, if anybody who's looked up this device has seen or other previous iOS devices, you've seen the iOS. You know, I totally forgot to charge this thing or check for battery, uh, how much battery life it might have. I just assumed or I just, I just went with it for the video. Um, but it has 32% there, so that is nice that it did include enough to get through the setup. Alright, so it's currently on balance mode. Uh, we can do optimize. So I have not looked into high space enough. It's currently set, I think, to 1080p. Or it should be, say, 1200p. Right, yeah. I don't want to press the start button yet because I'm not reading it as I'm making this video. Okay. Okay, it's just about GPU scaling. All right, and then we have Windows. That is cool. You can see that it is just as everyone keeps saying, pretty nice colors. Like, awesome. That is a, such a good display. Okay, so I'm going to install some games and play around with this. Oh, it's already set by default with the uh, mouse mode stuff. I guess you press this button to go into eyes. Oh, this is just the eye quick tool. So I guess if you hold it, yeah, okay. It takes you to the IS space. Wait, why is it not? It's not? Hmm. Alright, so how do I... Yeah, it's like stuck on this, um, GPU scaling, uh, 
screen. Well, that's not a good sign, but I mean, you know, these programs sometimes have to update, so I'll look more into that. I do have to get ready to sleep soon as I have work in the morning. So thanks for watching. This is Alpha Compton. Let me know in the comments what games you'd want to see. I have a lot of the popular stuff, but not everything. Like I don't have like Elden Ring, um, GTA Five. Not a fan of those games. Uh, I will get. I will pick up Elden Ring uh, sometime in the future. But those Souls games, I don't know. I will play it though. Uh, so of course I'm going to try Cyberpunk on it. I will be playing that. I'm looking forward to playing Diablo 2 Resurrected, and of course Diablo 4 when it comes out on this thing. It should be pretty awesome. Alright, thanks for watching.